So you've played Seven Days to Die Vanilla to death now. You've got like, I don't know, 500 hours into Alpha 20 already and you just need like something fresh, something to challenge you or whatever it is and you've heard that there are good Seven Days to Die like mod overhauls out there that you want to try out. So today I'm going to show you how to install those mod overhauls for Seven Days to Die via the mod launcher. So before I get started, I want to say that this is not the only way that you can install mods for 7 Days to Die. There are other ways. You can go to Nexus and you can go to the GitHubs and download the mods themselves. For me, this is the easiest way that I find to install mod overhauls and modlets uh, at all. If you don't want to use this for whatever reason, you don't trust the mod launcher, that's all well and good. That's your decision. This is just one way and I trust this uh, software because I've talked to Sphere2 uh, via other Twitch streamers. So I know Sphere2, so this is the method that I trust and it's easiest for me, okay? So with that out of the way, let's explain how to install this bad boy. So to get started, you're gonna go to this website here, which is 7d2d modlauncher.org and you're going to be greeted with this site and then all you have to do is go to this top right hand corner and click download and then here you're going to get like three options here so you have windows linux and mac os so just download whatever you want so for me i'm going to use windows so i'm just going to download this and it'll give me like this um installer so i'm just going to save that to my downloads folder and give that 30 seconds whilst that's downloading so once it's downloaded all you have to do is just open up the folder so i'm just going to go show in folder and it goes into my downloads folder right here so all i have to do then is right click it and extract here so that's going to extract the executable so we'll just wait for that to extract and then once it's extracted it's going to have this folder right here okay so you just have to open that up and then you can just click this icon right here, the mod launcher. If I just change the icon here, you can kind of see what it looks like. Uh, this one right here, mod launcher. So you just double click on that. You, you can close down your browser as well. You don't need that anymore. So brings up this window, the mod launcher loads. And then once it's loaded, you're going to get greeted with this interface. So I have tested this before. There is an option here to say where to install the folder. Even though I've specified uh, to have it in my games folder it's still gonna download it and uh, install it to my c drive hey guys post edit tommy here so uh this little section is actually incorrect uh, for the whatever reason when i installed this first time round, it didn't install it to the file path that i wanted but if you do change the file path of where you want your mods to be installed via the settings it will install it to the folder that you specify it's just a little quick uh, quick correction for whatever reason, it didn't work for me the first time, but as you'll see in the video, it worked the second time. Let's keep going. So just make sure you have enough room in your C drive. I know a lot of us are running out of space on our main drives, but don't worry. Once you've downloaded it, install it, you can just move the folder somewhere else, which I'll show you afterwards, okay? So change you can change this, but it's not going to make a difference, all right? So save it, and then once you've saved it, you're going to go over to here. You've got four options, right? So we're going to go for the install and overhaul. So overhauls are basically a collection of modlets that have been piled together or custom made for a pack and then named into the package. So we'll have like Undead Legacy, uh, Wars UK, Darkness Falls, and all that kind of stuff. So let's just click into... Uh, overhaul so on the left hand side here as you can see you've got a l bunch of like mod overhauls that you want to play and all you have to do is just pick the one that you want to play so just because it's right at the top i'm going to click down as false here you're going to gre be greeted by this screen i'm going to click install here once you have this screen here you're going to have two different folders you have copy from local and then download from steam so what's going to happen is that uh, the mod launcher is going to make a separate folder is specifically for the mods that way it keeps the vanilla folders from your steam like seven days to die completely separate and doesn't touch it and then what happens is that it'll use the copied folder and modify that instead that way if you want to switch between the modded game or the vanilla game you can do it has no impact on each other okay so for speed wise for me because i already have seven days to die already installed i'm just going to go copy from local and then i'm going to tell it where the seven days to die folder is so i'm just going to go into browse here and then i'm going to go into my steam folder and then into steam apps common seven days to die and then select that and as you can see here it has the file path for my seven days to die so we're going to start a copy 
And once it's starting to copy, this really depends on how fast your computer is. So it can take like five minutes, it can take 20 minutes. It depends how, how fast your computer is basically. So whilst this is installing, you can go make a cup of tea, which is exactly what I'm going to do now. Right then, so once it's installed, you're going to have a screen like this. I think that took about, what, 15 minutes for me, so a little bit while. I mean, Dinosaur Falls is a big mod though. So once you have it, you can have the choice here. You can either play it from here or alternatively, you can go to the folder where it's installed to, which is right here. So if you can just click on this, it's going to show you where it's installed. And oh, actually, it did install it to the fol folder I specified. That's great. So it's going to go into my documents, my games, Alpha 20, exactly where I told it right here. My documents, my games, and it installed the thing. So that's perfect, actually. So it didn't do it before, but it did it on video. Perfect. <laughs> so once you've got it installed, here is the folder. Again, you can just click here, seven days to die, open it. So that's basically just going to launch seven days to die the darkness falls modded version and then hopefully we'll get darkness falls and there you go it's loaded now this is the darkness falls uh splash screen uh we're just going to start a new game here uh, i'm just going to go uh, mod test and then i don't really know the settings here so it doesn't really matter we're just going to start it just like that wait for this to load up and hopefully Dennis Falls the actual modded thing should be loaded so we'll just wait for this to load and see if it actually does and here we are in Darkness Falls. As you can see, welcome to Darkness Falls. Here's a splash screen, all that kind of stuff. Now, my interface is a little bit larger. It did change it back to widescreen, which we don't want. So just to show you that it is working. As you can see on the left hand side, there is my, you know, beginner starter thing. There is Darkness Falls. If I open the inventory here, I have the Darkness Falls. I think so. There you have it. That's that's how you install mods and that's how you play darkness falls so that's it so that's how you install mod overhauls for seven days to die via the mod launcher and um, i will say that some mods are larger than others and everything from start to finish from downloading it to actually getting in game it probably took me about 20 to 25 minutes i have a moderate pc it's not super high end but it's not super slow it all really depends on your specifications and the size of the mod that you're installing so if you have a slow computer and a large mod expect it maybe take longer and vice versa expected to make it faster if you have a fast computer and a small mod but if you found this video helpful please make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that like button and happy modding folks catch you in the next one peace